in the previous video we have uh, shown you how to construct the parsing table for simple LR. So now here in this particular video in this particular session we are going to discuss that how this parsing table can parse one input string and can tell whether the string has been accepted or rejected. Actually the thing is that the, this is a table generator logic that means a parcel, par parsing table generator logic and it is taking the grammar as input and it is creating or producing the respective parsing table. So the generated parsing table and this driver routine there is the rules of parsing this driver routine and this parsing table this one will take one string as input and it will produce the output whether the string has been accepted or rejected. So that is a basic model this one generating the parser operation of the parser and in this way the LR parser will be working. Okay. Now here, here I think you have noticed that we are, we are having the same set of uh, production rules with the numbering and this is my parsing table we constructed earlier. This is the input string id star id plus id dollar will be the terminating character for the input and in the stack I shall put the initial state. I think you can recall that h dash produces s dot will was in the item what is in the item 0. So that um, sorry s dash produces dot s was in the item i 0. So that is why that 0 state is the starting state good and that s dash produces s dot was in i 1. So that 1 dollar was holding accept ok. We discussed everything in our previous video let me concentrate on this parsing rules. The configuration of the LR parser is a pair whose first component is the stack content and the second component is the unexpanded input ok. Now this is my driver routine and this is my parsing table driver routine is this one and here the parser is working. This is my input string it is having a1 a2 dot dot ai ai plus 1 dot dot an and terminated by the dollar. And this is a stack let us suppose the stop topmost state mentioned here is sm ok. So this driver routine at this present moment is pointing to ai and pointing to sm. So to denote this LR parser we shall have to write in this way s0 x1 s1 x2 s2 what are the s si's they are the corresponding states and this x1 x2 they are the grammar symbols and up to sm because sm is at the top and here we are having a1 to ai minus 1 we have already parsed. So ai ai plus 1 dot dot, dot an dollar is the is a unexpanded input that means untraversed unparsed input ok. Now we are having four rules are there rule number one if action sm ai sm means that this one and ai means this one is shift s the parser executes a shift move. So entering the new configuration so it will go for a move so it was having this sm sm will be there and then this particular ai will be coming and shift s will be coming here. So that will be the stack content there is a shift and this is the part of the remaining unexpanded input. So what is this ai ai is this one and what is this s that is the shift s it will be coming here and this is the remaining part of the unexpanded input ok. So that is my shift s. Now if action sm ai reduce a produces beta then it enters a new configuration s0 x1 s1 x2 s2 dot 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 x m minus r comma s m minus x m minus r comma s m minus r a s then we are having a i a i plus 1 dot 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 a n dollar. Now what is r? r is nothing but the length of beta that means the right hand side of this particular production rule. So that means it will it will pop up it will pop it will pop r number of states and r number of grammar symbols. 
So, that is why it is popping up two R number of uh, elements from this particular stack from the top. If the things are not clear to you, everything will be demonstrated in my example. So, now then what is the S that is go to S m minus R A. So, that corresponding the state number whatever I will be going to get at go to column, go to section will be found, will be found at the top of the stack like this. Okay. Now, if action S m A i accept is equal to accept parsing is completed successfully, the string has been accepted. If action S m A i produces error, then then parser discovers an error and calls the error recovery routine accordingly. So, if other entries we know I did not write, but we know that here they are filled up with errors. So, if I pick up the error in that case we shall then the parser will uh, face an error will discover an error and call error recovery routine accordingly. So, that are the four steps are there. What is the first step? That is the shift. What is the second step? That is for the reduce. Third step accept. Fourth step error and reject it. Okay. Now, let me go for this particular um, example. Here my initial state is at the top of the stack. This is my input terminated by dollar. Okay. Now, see 0 id I am going for 0 id. 0 id means shift 5. 0 id means shift 5. So, in the step 2 I shall go for 0 shift and 5. Shift means this particular symbol will be shifted and 5 and so I shall be remaining with I shall be remaining with this because it has got shifted and 5. You know that in case of shifting this AI will be coming down here and in the in unexpanded input AI will be discarded because it has got shifted already. So, I did the follow the same thing. Okay, now, let me go for the third step. 5 star. So, 5 star means R6. R6 means R6 means I shall have to find out the sixth rule. What is the sixth rule? F produces ID. So, F produces ID. So, here this particular 5 and ID will be pop, popped up. So, now they will be popped. F produces ID. So, ID means how many, how many, what is the length? How many symbols are there? We are having only one. So, how many uh, elements will be popped out from the stack? Two elements. So, one number of states and one number of um, grammar symbols. Okay. So, they will be popped out. So, that is the F. 0 F. So, 0 F is 3. So, I shall be writing here 3. So, I shall go for this star ID plus ID until un unless I do any shift it will not get changed. Okay. Now, see in case of shift operation these things will remain the same. Okay. Next 3 star. So, what about the 3 star? Let me check 3 star means reduce 4. So, what is the fourth rule? That is the T produces F. So, this 3 and F will be popped out. T produces F. So, 0 T, 0 T means 2. So, I shall be remaining with the same. Next, 2 star. 2 star means what? 2 star means shift 7. So, 0 T 2 star. So, star will be shifted and 7. Okay. So, I shall be remaining with id plus id dollar. 7 id next one C 7 id shift 5. So, sixth step 7 id that is my shift 5. So, shift shift 5 this one. So, id has got shifted. So, I shall remaining with this plus id. Next 5 plus 5 plus that is a reduce 6. What is the sixth rule? F produces id. So, this thing 
will be taken out from the stack. So, 0 t 2 star 7 f because f produces id 7 f 7 f is 10. So, 10 will be coming here plus id dollar 7 step. I shall go for the 8 step now. 10 plus see 10 plus reduce 3. So, what is the third rule? t star f will be replaced by t. So, f and this star and then t. t star is having how many how many symbols? 3 symbols. So, 6 things 6 elements will be popped out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, t produces t star f. So, it will be replaced by t. So, 0 t. So, 0 t means what? 0 t means 2 in the go to section. So, I shall be remaining with id dollar. Now, 2 plus, 2 plus means what? Reduce 2. What is 2? T will be replaced by e. So, 0 e. They have been popped out. 0 e. Okay. 0 e means 1. So, I shall be remaining with this id Okay, 1 plus, 1 plus means shift 6. So, 0 e 1 shift and 6. This is my 10th step. Okay, so I shall be remaining with id only. So, 6 id, 6 id shift 5. So, that is the 11th step. Shift so, id will be coming 5. So, I shall be remaining with dollar only. Okay. Now, 5 dollar, 5 dollar reduce 6. 6 means id will be replaced by f. So, id will be replaced by f. So, step number 12, 0 e 1 plus 6, id will be replaced by f, 6 f. 6 f I shall be going for 3. I am remaining with dollar here. 3 dollar. 3 dollar means which one? 3 dollar means R4. Fourth rule means F will be replaced by T. So, that is the 13. 0 E 1 plus. So, F will be replaced by T. Okay. Okay, 60. Now 60. 60 means 60 means 9. So here I think this is my so I'm going for this dollar. Okay. Now 9 dollar. 9 dollar that is R1. What is R1? E plus T will be replaced by E. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be replaced by E. So, I will be remaining with so E dollar. So, E dollar sorry, 0 E. 0 means what? 1. So, 1 dollar, 1 dollar is accept. So, the string has got accepted. So, in this way, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Numbering is okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes. So, that portion also I have written correctly. So, in this way, that parsing will take place. Please do some practice with some other grammars, calculating the respective parts follow, calculating all the items and closures, then construct the parsing table and then take a string and then parse it. You require practice on, on this particular issue. Thanks for watching this particular video.